start you down low. No, they can just get down low. The typical elementary classroom during a test. Although all are taking the same test, the overall mood is mixed. Most feel confident and prepared for their assessment, but others feel differently. They experience a different element of preparedness. They feel as though they know the information inside out. They feel excited for the test, and even more so when they receive their mark. These individuals do something the most of their classmates don't. They work hard as much as they can starting a week before the test. They prepare, they know, and in the end, they excel. But do they know something the rest of us don't? The answer is no. In fact, most of us do this, but not to the extent of some others. To try to get a better understanding of what York Region thinks of working hard, we went around town and asked a few people. What does working hard mean to you? Um, working hard means applying effort to whatever you're trying to achieve and doing your best to, to get to a goal. It's the single most important factor in success. Studying pays off um, when you're doing stuff like exams. It's the key to getting good grades in a good future. Feeling accomplished after you achieve something that you're working towards. Have you ever heard the quote, um, good things come to those who wait? Without hard work, your, your, your chances of success in anything you do is uh, pretty limited. I don't think good things come to those who wait. I think good things come to people who work hard. Now that we know what it is, what can working hard actually do for you? As you can see, one person sleeps while the other stays up late at night. The one who's sleeping finishes applications and admission forms days before they were due. The other person waited until the very last minute to create his resume. Although both of them are applying to York University, most likely, only one will be accepted. It's not the easiest thing in the world to improve your work habits, but if you remember these two tips, you'll be working hard in no time. Number one, working hard is a mindset. Number two, always work to your full potential. Number three, persevere and work past all obstacles. If you apply these principles to everything you do, you'll improve your life for the better. If you think about it, Working just a little bit harder can improve your academic, physical, social, and emotional skills. Realistically, working harder can improve every aspect of your life. You can get into that talent show, improve your pitch, and get into that dream university you've always wanted to be accepted into. Are you ready to improve your life for the better? All you gotta do is remember the three principles, stand tall and strong, and put on your game face. We wish you the best on the road to success.